Okay, let's go. 644, everybody. Partly cloudy skies. We've got out the door and a sunrise coming in exactly 10 minutes. We'll have a good deal of sunshine today. The most clouds actually will be seen here uh, at the sunrise and we'll work towards better sunshine mid to late morning and for this afternoon. Get into those peak heating hours and We'll be in the lower half of the 80s. Looks like gaining several degrees versus where we were yesterday and topped out at 79 GR uh, on Wednesday. Temperatures uh, a little bit milder this morning. It's still a little bit cool, though, as you go outdoors, but just not quite as cool as yesterday. Generally in the mid to upper 50s to about 60 degrees. There you can see uh, 60 in Granville, 58 at last check at the airport in GR. Go over to the Lakeshore Spring Lake at 58 degrees. Muskegon and Norton Shores, though, a little bit milder. Uh, some uh, influence from warmer air that is working in from the west and actually tending to show up more so in our northern communities versus southern as well as some additional clouds that have been around off to the north keeping temperatures warmer and uh, some breezes that are a little bit more noticeable in recent times. Not so much on the last check in Fremont and Muskegon, but uh, it is going to turn out to be breeziest here from Grand Rapids and particularly northward today on some southwest winds that will be assembling and uh, the, the way that the land is shaped uh, more susceptible to waves and uh, we'll have that about two to three to even four feet this afternoon and evening as these winds do pick up at 10 to about 25 miles per hour at times. So it will be a bit breezy, even inland Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo today, 10 to 15 miles per hour, maybe a breeze to 20 miles per hour as we get into the afternoon uh, dew points in the 50s. So it is just not that humid. It hasn't been for quite some time and it won't be right on through this upcoming weekend, though increasing marginally as the temperatures start to go up as well. Partly cloudy, as I mentioned to begin, but turning out mostly sunny fairly quickly here by later this morning. And look at these temperatures. This is the story going forward. 80 degrees is the average now in that gray box on the left side of the screen. By the end of the seven day, our average is still at 80 next Wednesday. And we're running about oh, five to as high as 15 degrees above normal with the uh, peak warm day and uh, next Wednesday at 94 degrees. Now we're not going to continue to go up after that. Uh, there will be a cold front. It does appear next Wednesday. That's the way the models are showing now. Of course, that's six, seven days down the line. Things can change, but uh, it looks like we're going to have some pretty significant heat pooling before that cold front eventually does arrive. Any cold front uh, right now is well off to our north, so that the focus for showers and storms, but well away from West Michigan. You go into the northern sections of the lower peninsula right there around the Mackinac Bridge and there is uh, some shower and thunderstorm activity, but uh, won't be sagging southward in here anytime soon. Maybe a shower Sunday into Monday for portions of the viewing area, but I wouldn't count on it. We're looking dry for quite some time out over the open waters of the Atlantic. I was tracking a couple disturbances yesterday morning. This one in the central Atlantic approaching the lesser Antilles has become tropical depression 13 ever since yesterday evening. Still a depression, but expected to become a storm tropical storm later today or tomorrow and the track of the system takes it just to the north of the Lesser Antilles, eventually to the north of Puerto Rico, and then uh, the Dominican Republic and Haiti and north of Cuba. But uh, within that cone, there can be some definite changes in this track. It goes further southward over land that will disrupt it and possibly uh, cause it to really weaken. It goes further northward and depending on some factors in the atmosphere here, which are unknown at this uh, current time in terms of dry air, how much dry air will there be around? Uh, how much uh, of a factor will just the uh, warm waters be or, you know, wind shear, things like that? Uh, there's a wide range of solutions on how strong that system can be. But right now it takes it towards somewhere the vicinity of Florida by next Next Monday and a second disturbance in the Caribbean we're watching as well. So things beginning to heat up in the tropics uh, will be heating up, but uh, not our weather in terms of showers and storms. It's been pretty dry around West Michigan recently. It'll stay that way today. Uh, we'll take the model here this afternoon. You're heading home from work five, six, seven o'clock. Going to be looking similar to the way it did yesterday and the days before. That means sunshine, a few clouds around a little bit warmer today, though. 79 yesterday, 83 today. How about 90s wild Saturday through Monday and getting even warmer? by Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, with so many parents still